What's up everyone? It's Marion Wallace with Restoring Ghettos Forgotten and I'm here today with a short conversational piece about when you know who you are, you won't allow what you do for a living to define it, to define you. You will not let that happen. You will already know who you are and where you're headed and whose you are. So you have great identity, you have a great identity and you have a great purpose in this life. So if you haven't done so already, please click, click and subscribe on my YouTube channel for more Real Talk videos. I'll go ahead and, and jump into it. I've had a long day at the office and I made it home, but I said I wanted to get this video done before I made it in the house because there's no telling what I have to do when I get in there. So I wanted to get this out, but I thought it was extremely important because what I'm finding is that like, I don't know if you noticed, but when you go out and you meet someone new or you meet other people, the first thing they want to ask you is, what do you do for a living? Like, why does it matter what I do for a living? I'm a human being, you know? I, I, I have other interests. I have, my purpose is so much more than what I do for a living. So that kind of bothers me. And sometimes I don't even answer the question. I just say, well, you know what? I really love to dance. I like to, you know, I like to go see movies. I like to hang out, you know, I like, I love to read. You know, I start describing who I really am. Oh, and my purpose is I work with children. So that's my absolute best thing I could ever do with my life is to help uh, children, especially children that have been abandoned or hurt. So that's my purpose. So I like to lead with my God-given purpose versus what I do for a living because what I do for a living does not define me and if I allowed if I allowed it to define me then I would have been lost a long time ago so that's what this video is about it's about teaching our youth by examples of who we are for them to understand that their purpose and that their identity is not always tied to what they do now I know some people are blessed and I, I'm, gr I'm glad that they are blessed to be able to work in their purpose. Oh, I would love to do that. If I could just stop doing what I'm doing right now, this balancing act with how I take care of myself and my family and just work with children, that's all I would do. That's it. That's my passion. I would be happy doing that. Uh, but we all know we have to be responsible for ourselves and we have to put in the work to support ourselves and our family. So we do what we got to do to make it and it's okay and, and what I do for a living does not define me as a person even when I was working two and three jobs and I, I had I can recall having an administrative assistant position and still going to work at a hotel at night or you know um, working at a fast food place I mean all kinds of stuff but I did what I had to do to make it but me going and cleaning somebody's toilet didn't make me feel less of a person than when I worked as somebody's administrative assistant because I already knew who I was and where I was headed and whose I am. And that's important. That's what I want to teach our youth. And I pray that we, sh we example that and we show them that. My children will never be able to say mama was lazy. They'll say mama was like a Jamaican. She had all kinds of gigs and jobs. But they realized that that was the most important thing to me. It didn't matter what anybody said about me working these jobs or whatever the case may be. The fact of the matter is I took care of them and I took care of myself by being an ethical hard worker. And I'm getting somewhere. I'm trying to get there anyway. I'm getting somewhere with this. Never be so caught up in what you do. Because I know somebody very close to me that made a comment that really hurt me and it, it struck a chord in me. And that's why I'm doing this video. That person started to feel really bad about some of the life decisions that um, he had made. And he said, you know, well, I really messed up. And, and, and I think it's bothering his ego that he has to do the work that he's doing now. But I said, you know what? You don't have to figure it all out today. You, you still got time. You're young, you can figure it out. Stop looking at all the the stuff that's on social media that's saying you need to have your stuff together now no you do not as long as you get an extra day in life you got a chance to get better you got a chance to build you got a chance to grow and evolve it doesn't all have to happen right now and what you do now to take care of yourself and support yourself does not define the person that you are and that's important i want everybody to recognize that especially our youth because we get so caught up in the glamour of the world all the worldly things and the glamour that that people just 
blast all over social media that we forget our youth are actually taking this stuff in. And we have to be able to educate our youth and not let social media do that by letting them know that they're not showing you the hard work that they may have had to put in leading up to their successes. They're just showing you their successes. There has to be a balance. So we have to make sure they're getting that. And I'm always saying that, my, I get on my kids' nerves, but I'm always saying that when they're going through their social media pages and I, I look at my daughter sometimes and I say, I think you need to put that phone down. And, and she's like, why? I say, because I, I see your mood changing. She doesn't realize that I just observed them when they, when they scroll their social media page. And I can tell how she can go from happy to sad within minutes because we're consuming we're consuming all the energy that are, that's being put on social media. And then, without us even knowing it, we're comparing our lives. And then you feel like, man, I'm really not where I need to be. I should have really did something differently or I should. What you should be doing is putting that phone down and, and doing something that's gonna elevate you. Cause scrolling your social media page all day, looking at all these lies and games, cause a lot of people lie. Uh, it's, it's only going to keep you feeling down and out and like you're losing. You're not a loser. You're a winner, but you have to do your work. You have to work. We have to work really hard. We have to pay our dues. That's important. As long as you're doing your work, you're paying your dues, eventually you're going to get there where you want to be. Not by following other people's coattail or not by following other people, by being true God-given leaders. That's what we need more in this world. We need trailblazers that's gonna set the world afire and we need leaders. We don't need any more followers. Stop following people. Especially people that all they do is brag. And, and I'm not saying we shouldn't share our successes because I think we should. I, I think we should show how God is really blessing us and taking us further. But don't let that be every post. You know, we shouldn't do that because we're ruining a generation of children believing that they should be further off than they are. And, and, and so I think I'm done. This is a really short video, but I wanted to explain that because I see it happening too much and I see, and it's, an, it's affecting our youth and our youth are getting depressed and uh, some of them are, are committing suicide and they're giving up on life because they just feel like, man, what is all this about? It's about, first of all, you finding out who you are and what your purpose is. And therefore God will give you a stronger identity and purpose so then you'll know what to do and what's your next road to go. But nothing's gonna fall out of the sky. Nothing's gonna be easy. Everybody's not meant to be a rapper or a ball player or an Instagram model. I'm being funny now. But sometimes we actually gotta put in some work. And you know what, God blessed us. He blessed us with gifts and abilities that no one else has. So we can, we can think, we can think, we can be creative. We can be so much more than what the world tries to, sh to show you or sell you. And so, again, if you find yourself slipping, like you had to go take this job you didn't want to take, and you feel like, oh, I'm such a loser. You know, these people are winning. They over here winning. They got money. They got cars. They got... And I am catching the Uber to work. Or I am working overnight somewhere. Or I am cleaning somebody's toilet. I'm losing. No, you're not losing. Just keep going. See, those are, those are building blocks to your future. That's all they are. They give you ex experiences and they, they teach you, they give you wisdom and knowledge. So then when you finally do get to where you need to go, you're prepared because you've done all these things. And so you use them to help elevate you. That's all you do. So it's okay. It's okay to not be where you want to be right now. Just don't give up. That's what this... This message is about not giving up, believing in yourself and your dreams and putting in the work and the dedication it takes to get to your dreams. It does not happen overnight. Sometimes it takes people 15, 20 years to do the things that they've always wanted to do. So don't be discouraged. Just continue to put God first and believe in yourself. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you and everything's going to work out. So I wish you guys nothing but the best. And always remember, your identity is not tied into what you do for a living. Many times than not, 
Our purpose is not tied to what we do for a living. My purpose, as an example, um, I never got paid for it. And I didn't care because it was payment enough because I was doing something that I was passionate about. So sometimes we're going to have those uh, assignments that God gives us that doesn't pay us anything but the joy that comes from our heart from helping other people or helping a specific, um, you know, when God gives you a specific assignment, that's all the payment that we need. And so just understand that what you do for a living does not define you. God defines you and you define you. That's it. You want something in your life, you have to work really hard and never, ever, ever give up and find your identity in God and by believing in yourself and put that cell phone down. Don't spend hours on that because you could be reading a book that's gonna help you be a millionaire one day. You could be reading a book that's gonna help you with your self-esteem. You could be reading the Bible that's gonna bring you closer to God. You could be doing something that's gonna build you up. You could be cleaning your room. That alone is gonna change your mindset. I say that all the time. I don't know how people have junky rooms because it, it, it does something to me when I see clutter and disorganization. I can't do that. I have to have my stuff neat and orderly. And so do something that's gonna be productive, that's gonna help build you up and not tear you down. So it's okay to put the, the phone down and do something that's gonna build you. you won't, you'll survive, just put it down. Do something great for you that's going to help you with your future okay i'm gone i'm done always remember to put god first love yourself love others and do unto others as you would have them do unto you and i wish you nothing but blessings and all the wholeness that god can pour into your heart bye bye talk to you later